I bring you tidings of a great joy which will be for all the people. For to you is born in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Good afternoon and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> what a joy to welcome you all to Trinity Church here in Southport for this very special family-oriented service. And we will have Eucharist, Holy Communion, to which everyone is invited to God's table. So welcome, enjoy, sing all the songs as loud as you can, and we're so happy you're here. Merry Christmas. Christmas. We'll begin with the sentences printed in your bulletin. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we who have known the mystery of that light on earth may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven, where with you and the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs> I would like to take this opportunity to invite all the children to come forward and have a seat up in the choir stalls here. Yeah, come on, come on. And if there are any adults who want to come with them, if you want to bring any of your grown-ups with you, they can come too. Yeah, come on up, come on up. Come on up, don't be shy. Grab a seat don't just right shy. in these front rows here. Yeah. Just, yeah, grab a seat right in here, right in here. And grab a seat right here. Come on up, come on up, Tyler. <laughs> Come on, sit over here. Come on, have a seat. Beautiful. Come on, have a seat here. Can you slide down here, Tyler? Slide on down. We've just invited all the children up to come join us for the, the telling of the story, if, if you'd like to come forward and join us. Wonderful walk. Well, today, I'm going to tell you a very special story. <laughs> because this night is like no other night. This night is a time to dream and sing our way to Bethlehem. Now, the little town we seek is in the hill country, some 10 miles of another big city called Jerusalem. And in the center of that village is a small inn. On this night, it is overflowing with people seeking a place to sleep and a place to eat. Behind the inn is a stable, and a gray donkey chews his barley, and a weary cow leans up against the stable wall to rest after a long day of plowing. And off in the distance, a little sheep is just falling asleep. All is still and quiet in that little town. Now I need one brave volunteer who wants to go meet Andrew and help us bring forward a piece of the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can go meet Andrew right back there who's waving at you. And we're all going to sing. Everyone sing together. As night gathers, 
the last two travelers come slowly up the road. There is a young woman about to be a mother. She is walking with her husband. They are Mary and Joseph of Nazareth. They have walked for six days to come to the city of Bethlehem where the King David was born so long ago. They have come like so many others because the Roman Emperor wants to count each and every one of them. But it is late. Mary is tired. Where will they sleep? There is no room in the inn. And so they decide to sleep with the animals. Do you two want to help me bring the next one? And together we'll sing.
even from beyond the Arabian Desert all the way to the Caspian Sea. The camels carry three kings, the wise ones, the magi. They are following a wild star wherever it goes to find the king its shining shows. Why need four people to to them? And can I ask you two to help? If you can all go and meet Andrew. Oh my god. Can you help as well? I think you have another help over there. And together we sing. throughout the years to bring our own gifts to this child, God's gift to us. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for your help in, telling, in helping me tell this story. Now, I wonder if anyone can tell me what their favorite part of the story was. Yeah. When Jesus came, Jesus is your favorite part of the story? Awesome. Did you have, what's your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is when Mary and Joseph were traveling to the end, but they couldn't find a spot. But they couldn't find a spot, but then they did find a They found a stable, yeah. Is anybody else? Um, the cow. The cow is your favorite part? Excellent. <laughs> The cow's right in the front on the left here. Uh, now, I wonder if anyone can tell me what they think the most important part of the story is. Anyone on this side? Yeah. Say again? Godmothers. Godmothers. Excellent, yes. Yes, Mary is the mother of God. That's wonderful. When baby Jesus came, absolutely a very important part of the story. Anyone else think there's there are important parts of the story? Yeah. Um, the three kings when the three kings arrive, a very important part of the story. Mm -hmm. um, and God. Jesus and God, very important parts of the story. Absolutely. Yeah. And the family, family is a very important part. Camel and the guy with the crown. Very important. Absolutely. Is there any part of this story that we could leave out and still have all the story we need? They need to get food. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They need to have water. Very important to have food and water, especially in a climate like that. Is there any part of the story we can leave out and still have all the story we need? Um, is, uh, is the, the cow and the camel. We don't need the cow and the camel. That's okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you what I think the most important part of this story is. There are all different kinds of people here. We've got kings, yes, but we also have a shepherd who's a uh, you know, a very different kind of person from a king. We have a mother and a father from a poor village, and we have animals. <clears throat> what that tells me 
and Jesus is there, absolutely. And what that tells me is that the story of Jesus, the story of Jesus' birth, is for everyone. It's not just for special people, but it's for everyone who wants to hear it. And I think that's the most important part of the story. And I'm so grateful to you all for helping me tell it today. Thank you so much. You can go and rejoin your parents. Thank you, everyone. I invite us all now to stand for the prayers led by our two high schoolers. Year one and two. Yes. Let us pray. Let us pray. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. Let us pray for the people he came to save. Wonderful counselor, you order all things with your wisdom. Help the church to reveal the mystery of your love and fill her with the spirit of truth. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Mighty God, the government is on your shoulders. Guide the leaders of the nations and bring in your kingdom of justice and righteousness. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Everlasting Father, you call us to live together in unity. Protect by your mercy all your children. Bless our families and renew our communities. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Prince of Peace, you bring reconciliation through the cross. By your healing power to give to all who suffer your gift of wholeness and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Let us commend the world to which Christ came, to the mercy and protection of God praying for those things we now name, either silently or aloud. Pray for all those who are traveling this week. We pray for those who are sick. We pray for those who are mourning. O Father of light, yours is the morning and yours is the evening. Let Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine forever in our hearts and draw us to that light where you live in radiant glory. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Also with you. Let us share the peace with one another. Merry Christmas.
just wanted to reiterate our warm welcome to all of you on this Christmas Eve. It's wonderful to have families, all generations here, joined together at this 3 o'clock service. Um, everyone's welcome to communion. We receive communion in our hands, and you can take the wafer and dip it in the cup, or just receive the bread if you prefer. If you don't like wine, that's okay. Um, and if you, or you can take the cup and just guide it to your, your mouth to drink a sip of wine. So, um, welcome to God's table. The communion follows just after the offertory. Walk in love loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God. with you and also with you lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right to give God thanks and praise it is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to thank you Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth because you gave Jesus Christ your only son to be born for us 
who by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his friends and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. And so we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. And we pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with St. Mary and St. Joseph and all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
The next to the la the next to the last page. Let us pray. Let's let's go kneel for this prayer. We can come kneel on the right here. Let us pray together the post-communion prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. blessing. May Christ, whose glory fills the skies, fill you with his light. Scatter the darkness from your path, gladden your eyes, warm your heart, and guide your feet into the way of peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this Christmas night and always. Amen. Thank you.